How much excitement is there in your club? I know you've had a few disappointments the last two or three years. It's been really tough just to get out of Dublin. Oh yeah, last it was the last four Dublin Championship finals in five years. So it's been really tough. We're taking each step as for granted. It's unbelievable for the club. We all have our our bunting hanging out from our houses, and we're, I think they're having a a, t- a club walk coming up to Parnell Park. So it's great. It really is. Uh, how does that work then? Uh, the supporters on the day of the game. Um, I think they're all, they're all coming up together, which if you were smart, you'd get ahead of them. So because we big queue and all the top supporters come, but um, no, it's great. I'm for myself being captain of coming bringing the team through. It's my first year being captain, um, so it's a it's a great honour for myself. I have to say, and the club. What's made the difference for you this year? Um, we've actually we've had a lot of um, girls coming through um, younger age and country girls that have moved to Dublin as well. But um, actually, one of our strongest players, Sarah McCaffrey, she's moved away this year. Just her first year not playing Gaelic, and the first year we've got out of Dublin. So it's a bit of a disappointment not having her by our side. But um, the country girls and and the atmosphere just through Clontarf and just saying to yourself, we're not losing another jump championship, and we've got this far, so we're delighted. Who are the country girls? Name them. Uh, there is uh, Aoife Crowley, uh, Fee Skelly, there's Grace, there's Elaine, there is Becky, um, if I forget any now. Um, and then there's a few Dublin girls that have come to us as well. There is uh, Kate Fitzgibbons and Tara, her sister, and there is uh, Siobhan from Rohini as well that have joined us. So it's great. And they're all in around my age, so it's even better. <laughs> so things are flying this year. That's a lot of new players it in is. one year. Yeah, it is. And people might think like they mightn't just step in. A few girls are with Dublin and they haven't been with us the whole year, but they've just slotted right in. It's brilliant. Do you know much about the opponents? Well, to be honest with myself, I haven't looked into it that much, but I've read up their past games. Um, there's Ellen McCarran, she scored two, three in their last game. So that's that's one person that was stand out for us. But I have, I have, my team are unbelievable and I don't think we have to pick out any player because we're ju- just very strong ourselves, that we can just go in with our heads high and just whoever you're marking, just put it up to them and that's about it. The whole buzz around ladies football in 2018 is incredible. It's been incredible all year and it's going to end on a high by the sounds of it. You must love just to be in, in, involved in it. Yeah, absolutely. I play basketball myself as well and especially with, it just brings it, relates back. You have your little break but you always just want to go back to football. Even in the job that I'm in, I work in St. Candice's Boys School. They're so, so supportive, all the lads play football and they can't believe when you come in as a girl and all the trophies you've won, they're just like, what? Like, what's going on? So it's really, it's brilliant. So you're breaking down barriers, but you'd nearly think in 2018 that they'd be used to that. It's not like a girl can't win things. Yeah, I know, that's it, but it's it's a real boys' school, so <laughs> they, they just don't expect it, I suppose. But they might know anyone that plays Gaelic football. And then, like I said, when I come in with the trophies, I have two trophies under our belt at this time, and they're looking at them and they can't believe it. I nearly want to go around to the classes and show everyone like the kids do, but no, it is, it's really good. Brilliant. So you have a newfound respect for ladies football in the school? Yeah, absolutely. It is just a boys' school, but it's even the boys have more respect for me just going in and knowing what, what girls and women are capable of when it comes to sport. They should watch at the weekend. That's it, exactly. Hopefully. I know a few of the teachers are coming out and I'll, I'll have my poster to bring into the school, so who knows, some of the lads might come along.